Anzen Security Security. No matter how it's said, the mission here is one and the same. The stage set on Anderson Air Force Base. Military officials from the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, French Air and Space Force, Royal Australian Air Force, and U.S. Airmen, Marines, and Sailors coming together for exercise Cope North 2023. Royal Australian Air Force Group Captain Robert Graham and Japan Air Self-Defense Force Colonel Satoru Inadome, with the help of an interpreter, say they are glad to be key partners in the training. It's great to be here in Guam. It's a, uh, it's a lovely part of the world and we're very happy to be here exercising with our great uh, partners and friends from the United States and Japan. We could conduct efficient and large training in Guam because Guam has a huge airspace and less restricted area. They are training alongside U.S. Air Force Colonel Jared Pasley. I would say that uh, for the most part, if you look overhead, you're going to see a lot of aircraft that you might not be used to seeing. Um, for me, I, this is a kid's dream. If you look up, we've got fighters overhead. We've got, uh, we've got E3s down there. We have Navy helicopters. Military aircrafts have been very active, circling our skies. Pope North officially kicking off today, bringing these allies together as tensions and threats rage on across the globe. And the military using it to sharpen security and stability for the Indo-Pacific region as the military presence on Guam continues to grow. You know, as American, I watch the news too. And uh, I think everybody's eyes wide open after some events this week. Colonel Pasley commenting on the recent reports of the Chinese balloon that the military shot down after it traveled across the U.S. But once again, you know, crisis response is crisis response. So I hate to say it, I wish I could have planned this whole thing in the last week, but we didn't. So uh, what we do is we actually have uh, annual, uh, annual improvements that we always look at. Thousands of military forces using the Pacific to carry out the training mission of crisis response. Operations expanding toward Guam's airport, Rota, Tinian, Saipan, Yap, Palau, and Japan. It's all about a free and open Indo-Pacific. Uh, and you've got three key regional partners that are gathering together in a very strategically important area out here in Guam. This is also the United States. So for us, you guys are really far west for us. So uh, getting to know and being familiar with the lay of the land is pretty important. The exercise has been held out of Guam since the late 1990s. The large military presence will be felt for at least the next two weeks. So that includes some of the visiting service members from other countries spending their off time checking out the island. So while added security is the point of the exercise, no doubt their presence will include a much needed boost for Guam's economy. Matsuki Hariyama, KUAM News on Anderson Air Force Base.